There's a lot of really good and useful information out there that people are producing YouTube videos about. But one of the challenges is that we are often in passive consumption mode rather than active learning mode. Hi, I'm Jeffrey and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I use this new Chrome extension called Tubers Lab and incorporating it into my personal knowledge management system so that I can become more active and engaged with the content that I'm consuming on YouTube to turn it into long lasting knowledge and understanding. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the Tubers Lab website. You can find links for the Chrome and Firefox extensions as well as an app for Apple and Android. But I'm gonna be focusing on the Chrome extension because that's the one that I've been using. So let's see what it looks like when you actually load up a video on YouTube. So if I go here, you can see that on the right hand side, you'll get a little notepad for the Tubers Lab. You can also see by the extension, the settings that you can set up so it can actually export to a bunch of different applications, Evernote, OneNote, Notion. The one that I'm interested in is Readwise because I've used that one really extensively in my personal knowledge management system. And you can also find a quick reference for some of the shortcuts that you can use with the extension. So as you're watching a video, when you start typing, it's going to pause the video until you finish. So I can say, and then once it's done, it's going to timestamp that location for the note. And you can also see it down here on the video uh, time bar as well. So now I can also take a screenshot of what's ever on the screen by hitting the control button. I can also stop and start the video by hitting the alt key. Once you're done taking notes on a video, you can export it then to whatever export settings you had set by hitting the button down in the bottom left. Sometimes I find it's a little buggy that it doesn't automatically show what you're going to be exporting it to. So if I click, click copy to keyboard, you can see that the readwise button then comes up. I just click it a couple times to make sure that it actually exports. I can also assign this note to a particular folder within Tubers Lab itself. So if this video is about calendars, I can assign it to the calendars folder and then I can save this one. Now the notes for the video are also viewable through Tubers Lab. If I click my view notes button, I can see all the notes for the different videos that I've seen along with all the screenshots that I've taken. I can also sort by the different folders that I had set. So I can say the ones for the calendars, I can, I can go in and see everything that I wrote here as well as link directly back to that video. Now, the one thing that I want to do as well is for Readwise, for my daily review, I like that to be more of highlights and snippets that I took from actual books. So, and because the notes that I've taken on videos are more fleeting notes, I don't want those to show up in my daily review. So if I come to the Readwise website after I've taken my notes, I can go down to the article section. That's where the notes you take on the videos are gonna end up. And then I can go into that particular entry and I can click to never show this doc again. And then that way it's not gonna show up into my daily highlights. So now let's see what this looks like in Rome Research when it actually exports. So here I have a video that I watched and took notes on before. So you can see all the notes that you take. The one thing is that screenshots will not transfer over to Rome. But if I wanted to see what those are, I can either go to my Tubers Lab account, or if I click on the link to the YouTube video here, it will open up and it will load all of the notes that I have in the right hand side. So this is really good if you are watching a video in, and taking notes in multiple sessions, it will keep track of all those notes. Or if you happen upon a video and you don't know if you've watched it before, you can see whether or not you've taken notes on that video here on the right hand side. So the one thing that I found that this extension has helped me do is be a bit more purposeful in how I actually consume content on YouTube. Rather than just watching it passively when I have the time, I will actually go through any videos that I think might be interesting and then add them to my watch later list. 
So then that way when I get back to my computer and I'm in the mood to actually ingest the knowledge from the videos, I can go to my watch later playlist and go through and actually start taking more meaningful notes so that I can convert it into more permanent knowledge. Thanks everyone for watching. Just a reminder that I included a link to the Tubers Lab website down in the description below. So if it looks interesting to you and something you want to try playing around with for your own workflow, I would recommend doing so. Also, if you haven't checked out my website where you can see my blog and sign up to my newsletter, you can head over to jeffreyweber.com. I'd much appreciate it and I'll see you all next time.